Thank you. I'll read my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am rolling. Any time. Okay, just a second here. Just got off the elevator, so. Oh All my right. God, Bobby, this looks like I don't a quiz. Think you, <laughs> I don't think you want Anthony Hopkins questions. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't see any similarity there at all. <laughs> anyway, Debbie, congratulations to all of you on Eve's Bayou. Thank you. And your performance is just delicious, if I may say so. Thank you. Lovely performance. Thank you. Interesting character you have. Boy, mm -hmm. she's got a lot going for her, doesn't she? A lot she? going on. Yes. Going on, yes. When you uh, first um, were approached, was it always for this role, or did you read for some other roles as well? No, uh, I only read for the character of Moselle, and it's the only character I would have wanted to do. I mean, had they said, no, but we'll offer you this, I wouldn't have turned it down because, I mean, the hair stood up on my back when I read the script, so I definitely wanted to be a part of it. Moselle is definitely the character that I wanted to do. Is there anything in your own background that would give you some sort of familiarity with this region and this, this whole thing? Uh, well, uh, the, the Baptiste are a Creole family from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I was born in the South, in North Carolina. So uh, what's, what's interesting to me is that it's one of the few times on screen that you have seen a family uh, of color, of elegance and grandeur and sophistication. And I, growing up in the South, was very accustomed to seeing families like this. I mean, my grandfather drove his big Cadillac car and, you know, we lived in a big house. And so this was familiar to me from that sense, but um, it's very unfamiliar on the, the screen. And it's definitely a part of, uh, you know, my reality and many uh, reality of, of many black folks that just is not being depicted. So I'm hoping that this is going to change that. Your character has a very strong and, and special relationship with Eve, mm -hmm. the little girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what, did, what was your assessment of that relationship as you were getting the character together? Um, I felt that I felt that when, when Moselle looked at Eve, it was like looking in the mirror at a reflection of herself. It was like looking at her at that age. And even though she had a love and was very close to her other niece and nephew, there was a very special and intimate bond between Moselle and, and Eve because she was so much like Moselle. And Moselle sensed the, the special gift. and that she was intuitive. Um, and it's interesting because she, she, she related to her as like this child woman in a way, you know, it, and she was like her closest confidant. I mean, she would sit and talk to her about her indiscretion. You know, it was a very, very unique relationship that I don't think you see on screen that much between an adult and a, and a young child. There is a, a mystical aspect to this whole story and uh, voodoo comes into play. Mm -hmm. Does that still go on today, do you think, among those people? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it does. But one of the, one of the things that, that, um, that I uh, know a lot of people aren't aware of, because I've, and, and I talked to some seers and stuff, because I didn't know how much of the voodoo Casey would let uh, me incorporate into Moselle, uh, so many people uh, have this negative connotation about voodoo and that it's something bad and people warding up evil spirits. And it can be quite the contrary, you know, where it does uh, people doing good, you know, and, and, and warding off evil spirits, you know. So um, I think that um, it's kind of interesting because in the film, uh, especially like the scene that uh, Moselle has with uh, El Zora, kind of like the uh, good witch versus bad witch kind of thing so that you know that maybe uh, El Zora is doing the bad voodoo kind of stuff. And Moselle, you just get a taste of the voodoo uh, for her. And, and I think with Moselle it's a little different because I, 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 don't, I don't think that she knows or feels that maybe this really does work 
but if she has convinced her clients that it does so that it heals them and they go away feeling good, then she's done her job. So I think that that's the aspect that she relates to it. Even if it doesn't do good, it couldn't do any harm. Yeah, right? Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't going to sue it. <laughs> You're an Emmy Award winning actress for, uh, for All My Children. And uh, do people still come up to you and relate to you on that basis? Oh, good. Oh, yes. That'll, that'll probably follow me to my grave. I think I, some people think I came out of the womb playing Angie. I don't know. It, you know, I'm on another uh, daytime soap right now, Port Charles. And it's so funny, the first two months I was working with a director who directed me on all my children. And every day that he directed, he'd come in and he'd say, okay, have Angie stand over there. And the producers would be in the booth going, who, who is he talking to? <laughs> he kept referring to me as Angie. So, but um, that, that character was very special and very close to my heart. And so I just know that it means that people in, in, enjoyed you know, the performance and the portrayal of her, so it, it's fine. Well, Debbie, again, congratulations Thank to you. all of you on Eve's Bayou. Thank this you. is a very unusual and very, very uh, entertaining picture on many different levels. Yes, it is. And I'm happy to recommend it. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. I'm much. glad to hear that. <laughs>
she was like her closest confidant. I mean, she would sit and talk to her about her indiscretions. You know, it was a very, very unique relationship that I don't think you see on screen that much between an adult and a, and a young child. There is a, a mystical uh, aspect to this whole story, and uh, voodoo comes into play. Mm -hmm. Does that still go on today, do you think, among those people? Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sure it does. But one of the one of the things that that um, that I uh, know a lot of people aren't aware of because and, and I talked to some seers and stuff because I didn't know how much of the voodoo Casey would let uh, me incorporate into Moselle. Uh, so many people uh, have this negative connotation about voodoo and that it's something bad and people warding up evil spirits, and it can quite the contrary, you know, where it does uh, people doing good, you know, and, and, and warding off evil spirits, you know. So um, I think that um, it's kind of interesting because in the film, uh, especially like the scene that uh, Moselle has with uh, El Zora, kind of like the uh, good witch versus bad witch kind of thing so that you know that maybe uh, El Zora is doing the bad voodoo kind of stuff. And Moselle, you just get a taste of the voodoo. Uh, for her, and, and I think with Moselle, it's a little different because I, I, I don't I don't think that she knows or feels that maybe this really does work. But if she has convinced her clients that it does, so that it heals them and they go away feeling good, then she's done her job. So I think that that's the aspect that she relates to it. You know? Even if it doesn't do good, it couldn't do any harm. Yeah, right? Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't gonna sue her. <laughs> You're an Emmy Award winning actress for, uh, for All My Children. And uh, do people still come up to you and relate to you on that basis? Oh, good. oh yes. That'll, that'll probably follow me to my grave. I think I, some people think I came out of the womb playing Angie. I don't know. It, you know, I'm on another uh, daytime soap right now, Port Charles. And it's so funny, the first two months I was working with a director who directed me on all my children. And every day that he directed, he'd come in and he'd say, okay, have Angie stand over there. And the producers would be in the booth going, who, who is he talking to? <laughs> he kept referring to me as Angie. So, but um, that, that character was very special and very close to my heart. And so I just know that it means that people in, in, enjoyed you know, the performance and the portrayal of her, so it, it's fine. Well, Debbie, again, congratulations Thank to you. all of you on Eve's Bayou. This Thank is a you. very unusual and very, very uh, entertaining picture on many different levels. Yes, it is. And I'm happy to recommend it. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. I'm much. glad to hear that. <laughs>